that bang. Not the bang. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my bathroom. In today's video, I'm gonna go over some items that I've purchased lately for my skin. Y'all know I am oily and I'm acne prone. I'm always looking for the perfect product that's gonna make me wake up with baby butt clear skin. So let's find out if these items were worth it or not. Oh, and if you like skincare and bougie stuff, like and follow and subscribe and blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. I think I'm gonna go from best to worst. So today's best product, oh my God. Oh my God. This is the Versed Gentle Cycle Milky Cleanser. This has oat milk and probiotics in it. This is one of the best cream cleansers I've ever tried in my entire life. I've been using cream cleansers for about three years now. I just never used to be interested in them. I always thought I needed just like gel cleansers or cleansers with actives in them since I am very acne prone. But in the last three years, I've been testing out as many as I can get my hands on and this might be top best. I don't know, it's so good. I've only been using this for about two weeks now, but that's really all I really need to know that I love it. It's such a great basic cream cleanser. There's no fragrance in here. I can use it around my eyes. It takes off my makeup. I have used this as my first and my second cleanse to see if it thoroughly cleansed my skin, and it does. It's just great. Cream cleansers can be great for every skin type because they're not gonna strip your skin if you're dry, and they're not gonna make you super oily if you are oily, if you have a good product. I almost always use hydrating cream cleansers in the morning for my first cleanse, and occasionally at nighttime for my first cleanse. I never really just stick to this. I have a ton of gel cleansers and cleansers with uh, salicylic and, you know, lac glycolic, whatever, AHA, BHA, PHAs, because that's what my skin needs. But sometimes you don't need all that. Sometimes you just need a gentle cleanser that's gonna remove your makeup and be hydrating. And that is exactly what this is. This has a lot of really beautiful ingredients in it, aside from the probiotics and the oat milk, which is just hydrating, really. This has olive, sunflower, and marula oil in it, so this is extremely hydrating. And aside from that, it has a lot of beautiful plant and fruit extracts, like blackberry, has a radish root in it, a little bit of oat kernel, which is where the oat milk is. So it's just a very nourishing, cleansing cream cleanser. <laughs> Not only was this super affordable at Target, it's also from a really good brand. Versed is one of those brands that's very, very reliable. I find that most of the items that they make are really great for the price that they are. You don't always have to spend a lot of money on your skincare. And this is one of the brands that I recommend to people when they say, you know, I'm looking for some really good basics, but I'm a little bit on a budget. But even if you're not on a budget and you just want to try kind of like a trendy up and coming smaller brand, I highly recommend Versed. And uh, we will talk about another item later. But for now, this is probably one of my favorite products from them. I enjoy their moisturizers, their eye creams, and they even have toners that I'm gonna be trying hopefully soon. But for now, the Gentle Cycle Milky Cleanser is it. Go get it. Let's move on to moisturizers. So this is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. This is actually the first thing that I've ever purchased from Summer Fridays. This really intrigued me because I love gel creams. I like lightweight moisturizers that are heavy on hyaluronic acid in the mornings. For me, they usually are enough to wear under my makeup just to kind of keep my skin looking a little plump, um, but I don't really use these at nighttime. This performs like a gel cream should. It reminds me of a lot of the other popular ones. For for example, the Belief True Moisture Gel something, I'll pop it up here, I can't remember exactly. It's the gel formula of the True Moisture Balm or something like that. Um, that used to be my ride or die. Like I probably have repurchased that moisturizer five or six times and that's a lot for someone like me who's constantly buying like new things so in comparison to this they're a little different i actually like this one a little bit more for the fact that it doesn't have fragrance in it um fragrance in skincare isn't always an absolute no for me but it's a really big deterrent because i am a little sensitive so when i saw that this had no fragrance in it thumbs up. And when you compare the texture of this to the Belief, they're also a little similar. This really is a gel cream. It's it's like a hybrid, but it's a little bit more on the gel side than the cream side. Whenever you rub it into your skin, it turns into very um, like a water consistency, but it soaks right in and leaves your skin really nice, plump, and dewy. So like I said, I like it because it doesn't have any fragrance in it and it is very hydrating. It's also got a lot of really nice ingredients in there. There are ceramides, glycerin, 
glycerin, hyaluronic acid, a little bit of radish root extract, and some fruit extracts as well. First and foremost, this is straight up moisture. If you're just looking for a really nice lightweight gel hydration, just like a burst of hydration before you go in with your makeup or maybe even another moisturizer, this is nice for that. It's just not gonna be enough for you if you're very dry, I feel. So since I'm oily, it's nice on its own and I really do enjoy it. So obviously I have been enjoying this and I would recommend it. It wouldn't be a skincare video without me talking about Village du Crochet. So if you watched my last video, you know that I recently picked up the Emulsion Gel Biosensible CSR, which stands for Sebum Regulation. This is a moisturizer that is often uh, prescribed to skin instants that are oily, sebaceous, irritated. The Biosensible line is for irritated skin. This is great. I love this. This is probably one of my new all-time favorite moisturizers. I was first introduced to emulsions whenever I purchased the Is Clinical Emulsion, and they honestly remind me a lot of each other. The texture is very gel-like, but very th thick for a gel. It's not thick if you wanna compare it to like other moisturizers, but it takes a little bit more work to really emulsify and soak into the skin. Much more work than say the Summer Fridays gel does, but it is so hydrating. I'm gonna like rub this into my hands. I don't wanna waste it. It is so hydrating and fresh. That's the number one thing that I feel like makes me love this. I can't <laughs> reach over. That's what I think I love so much about the um, emulsions uh, products from this line. I have tried the other formula of the emulsion. It's not the SR, it's the other one. And they that one also feels very fresh, but it's like, when you rub it into your skin and it kind of soaks in, it almost feels like you were splashed with a little bit of water. It's like this cooling effect. So it just feels great on the skin, not only the moisturizing aspect, but it just makes you feel super fresh. Like I said earlier, I'm oily and I'm acne prone. I need something that's gonna hydrate my skin without clogging my pores and making me feel irritated and just angry. So nothing super thick to where it like is super emollient and like leaves that layer on my face. This doesn't do this. This is just like that perfect formula. It just works really well. I've been mixing this with Creme Pigment 400 a lot in the mornings because when I layer them, it's a little too much. But if I mix them together, it's perfect. It's a stupid expensive combination, but like this, this is so good. And I'm angry at myself because I knew that I would love this, but I just kept pushing it off and pushing it off because it's so pricey. This is the most, one of the most expensive moisturizers from Biologie Crochets that I've ever purchased, but I get it now. And like I said in my last video, it's because there are so many active, great ingredients in this moisturizer. This is not just hydration. This is a lot of beautiful ingredients in here that are good for your skin. Glycerin, there's squalane, there's fruit extracts, there's different oils. There's literally so much. I'm going to list as many actives as I can over here. It's just so much to go over. But at the end of the day, it's really treating your skin and really calming it down. So if you have like red, angry, oily skin, maybe you break out a lot and your skin is just like constantly irritated, I would really recommend this to you. It's a really beautiful formula. And when you are oily, emulsions are usually just like really great for the skin because they're like a hybrid of a gel and a cream. That's kind of what emulsion means. It's like it emulsifies really nicely into the skin. So if you've been thinking about trying an emulsion, I highly recommend the Biologie Le Crochet one. So a couple of months ago, I picked up this Ole Hendrickson Fat Glow Facial and it's fat with a pH because it's PHA. It's really cute. That's really clever marketing and I'm not gonna lie, it made me buy it because I thought it was really clever. So whoever worked on this and named it. So this is a, this is like a really thick clay treatment um, mask. So whenever you put it on your skin, it's pink and you are supposed to rub it in. This is like way too much just for my hand. This is not gonna be a good example, but you basically need to rub it until it turns white and then you let it sit on the skin. Um, yeah, I just smelled it because it's scented. That's a thing, something that I really don't like about it is it is so fragranced. It was, it almost like deterred me from enjoying it. So as you can see, it's turning like kind of like a white color. It's nowhere near as dark as it was whenever I put it on. And it's really, really thick. Like, it's not, I don't really like it. I know. Um, it, this is not an enjoyable product for me. So like I said, this is rich in a lot of polyhydroxy acids. I'll list everything over here on the side. 
it just um, didn't do anything for me. It, it did tingle a little bit, but I did not notice any positive or negative side effects from this. It just didn't do anything, which is something that I experience a lot of with masks. I gotta wipe this off. So like I was saying, <laughs> it's just, it's hard to please me when it comes to masks because I feel like a lot of masks just they don't do what they say they're gonna do and that really goes for a lot of like over-the-counter beauty and i mean like even things that you find at sephora and yeah there are, there's a handful of masks that i've enjoyed from like sephora and for, from ulta but at the end of the day i feel like the masks that have always worked best for me were like medical grade or be allergic for sure my skin is also very very acclimated to acids my skin loves acids i'm talking aha pha bha anything you name it my skin likes it so when something like this comes along and it's just not strong enough Ooh, you know what I mean it just doesn't do anything and I feel like I only used this maybe five or six times uh, there's a lot left in here uh, I'm not gonna waste it I'll probably continue to use it when I'm just like bored <laughs> because whenever my skin's really going through it I reach for the things that are like really gonna treat it so um, at the end of the day if you're not, if your skin is not a little very acclimated to acids like mine is, maybe it would work for you, but it's a very meh product. I don't hate it, but I really don't love it. Um, I don't know if I could really recommend it at this time just because for my skin, it just didn't really do anything. Uh, she's boring. Speaking of boring, here we are, Versed. I love Versed, but every now and then they come out with a dud. This is just not for me. This is the Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask with AHA, BHA Complex, and Pineapple Enzyme. This is a funny little jelly mask, like jiggle jiggle, you know? No fragrance. Love that it doesn't have any fragrance. I just hate that it doesn't do anything. This did absolutely jack squat for me. And I have a feeling that the percentages of the acids and the enzymes were just like very low on the list. Um, usually enzymes really, really make my skin tingle. Anytime I go have a facial or use a product with a lot of enzymes in it, and I'm talking a higher percentage, my skin reacts to it. Uh, I've always been that way. It doesn't matter what stage my skin is in, enzymes really make me feel the burn. I felt nothing. It was absolutely nothing. Um, and as for the age, BHA, BHA, no tingle, no nothing. It honestly just felt like a thick layer of a very cooling gel on my face. It could have been a moisturizer for all I know. So unfortunately, this was a really big miss for me. And like I said earlier, I really love Versed usually, but this just wasn't just wasn't it for me. I don't know anyone that's used this and I haven't even looked at the reviews. I'll check them out before I post this video and I'll put a comment or something. Uh, so I don't know if other people are enjoying this, but Versed is, I, I don't let that deter my opinion that Versed is a really great brand. It's just this specific item for me just did not work. Um, and I would not repurchase this. Uh, like I showed you in a minute ago, I got a ton of product left in it and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I might give it to a friend who has like, who just doesn't carry it and I'm saying, you know how we all do that. So anyway, uh, I would not recommend this, unfortunately. So let's move on to the things that broke my heart. This Waleda Skin Food. This is the original ultra rich cream. This is a cult product. People love this stuff. I heard about it from Katie Jane Hughes. When she uses this, her skin looks like glass. She's gorgeous skin no matter what she uses, but I, I let her talk me into it, honey. It is one of the thickest, most emollient creams I've ever used in my life and when i i mean it is yeah i mean thicker than a bowl of oatmeal it is like it is you know what i mean and it takes a lot of work to really emulsify this into the skin it is a great hand cream okay it's not for me it's not for my face this is sticky on me it leaves a residue. I hated it under makeup because it made everything slide around. That could be user's error. I probably should have let it soak in before I went in with my makeup. But when I saw Katie Jane Hughes do it, she just slapped it on her face and went straight in with her foundation. And she looked like she was glowing for the gods as usual. And I wanna glow for the gods. So unfortunately, this just doesn't work. It's also so full of essential oils. Y'all know, I hate, I hate them. 
I hate them. I hate essential oils. I hate them in diffusers. I hate them in body products. I hate them in my skincare. They're just not for me. I got, and like, look at my hand. It looks nice. Like, don't get me wrong. She's glowing, but it's sticky. Like, okay, I can snap, but it, it's, there's a lot of slip around, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I might, I might try the light formula, which is, they knew that this was too much for a lot of people's skin. So there is another formula. I just don't know if I will for a while. I'm gonna be using this as my hand cream from now on and my heel cream, cause my heels are disgusting right now, but not for my face. So if you're oily, I don't know if you would like this. This is so heavy. And if you're very sensitive to essential oils and fragrance, do not use this. It is so heavily perfumed. It just wasn't for me and my skin type. It is a very natural product. It's got this little certified natural personal care majig on it. I got it at Whole Foods and it was on sale because I have that Amazon Prime thing going on. So I didn't spend that much on it, which was nice, but um, it's just too heavy. It's so emollient. It's just not for me. I would not buy again. In the last letdown, I was so hype when I found this at Target. This is the Exfoliating Night Water by Starface. Starface is that brand that got big whenever they made the acne patches that look like little stars. I'm not gonna lie, that is cute as hell. So adorable. And when I saw this, I love a toner. So I was like, oh, let me look at what the ingredients in this toner are. The ingredients in this toner are so similar to Lotion P50 that I had a mini meltdown in the Target and I was like, let me put this in my cart, I gotta buy this. Um, and I was rave, ranting and raving about it on my Instagram saying, did I find a dupe? Did I find a P50 dupe? No. I will say that this is an incredible formula. It's just very stimulating. So when something is really stimulating, it breaks me out. I was using this night and day for about five days when I just noticed that my skin was looking very angry. I was starting to break out in areas that were not normal breakout areas for me. Above my lip, I have one right here. You can kind of see under my makeup that's healing a little bit and a little bit around my chin area, which is where I usually get acne, but those other areas were very abnormal for me. And this was the only thing that made sense that would have been breaking me out at that time. The ingredients in here are amazing. The second ingredient is niacinamide. There's also lactic acid, there's rosemary leaf oil, there's willow bark extract, onion bulb, and glycolic acid, horseradish root, and time and a lot of those ingredients are exactly the same as what's in p50 1970 i'm gonna list here what is the same between the two formulas they're just obviously in different um, percentages and in different order on the ingredient list so while all of those amazing ingredients are in this toner it is so strong it's just too much for me and that really surprised me because i like i said earlier i my skin is acclimated to 1970 so that's the strongest formula it has phenol in it so i thought oh my skin must be really resilient no it's not it's still sensitive it's just acclimated to a product that i've been using for three years almost now so this was a pass for me i'm I don't know how to feel about it. If you have very, very resilient skin and you're getting like dermatologist level peels and you're going to your plastic surgeon's office and you're getting laser and all that good stuff, maybe you can handle this. I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it. This is me being very cautious um, to recommend this to anyone because it is so, ugh, it's very in your face. Um, if you're looking for a more affordable acid toner, I would reach for the Naturium BHA. Um, but I don't know, I got this at Target too, which is great. I love that Target's expanding its uh, skincare range. So I love that they have more options for everybody, but this in particular did not work for me. I will be purchasing their cleanser and a couple other items from this brand because I think it's a really cute company. Like. Look how cute this is, night water. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned something and that I've influenced you to buy some amazing skincare and to stay away for some others. So if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me some comments below to give me inspiration for my next video because I'm not original and I don't have an original thought up here. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. It's just, it's like out of a horror movie.